two ones that I'm going to do, two inventions, are in um, number nine and number ten, F minor and G major. And um, these are, the, the number nine is almost like an aria, like a duet, a song between the two hands. And um, I think that that's really interesting to think about singing on the piano. Um, Bach, when he wrote these pieces, he wrote a kind of uh, preface to the edition. And he wrote in it that one of the things that he wanted to teach through this music was how to play cantabile, which means how to play in a singing style. And he wrote this music not for a piano, but for a harpsichord, which has really um, no kind of range of timbre. It has one sound. Um, so thinking about what he meant in terms of how do you sing on a harpsichord is interesting. You know, I think that singing has a lot to do with breathing. And um, I think that that is, is something interesting to think about when you're playing a keyboard instrument where you don't need to breathe. Um, so these are numbers nine and 10. Thank you. 
final uh, three inventions that I'm going to play are um, in A major, A minor, and B flat major. Um, these are, <clears throat> well, the final two, the A minor and the B flat, are ones that many students have played. And actually, I, I've experienced these inventions in, in three very distinctive ways. I learned them when I was a child, which is how many pianists experienced them. And when I learned them then, I found them incredibly difficult just to play. So it was kind of just getting, just getting to the point where my hands were doing two different things. And then uh, in my um, 20s and 30s, I had a lot of students and um, I taught them. So I knew them as being sort of a terrorizing influence on my own <laughs> students and having absolutely no patience with them not you know, putting in the time. And um, then I learned them again recently as an adult, as a, you know, a, a performer, and I've realized that they are so much more difficult than I ever thought. <laughs> and um, that has been very interesting. The, the deeper I've gotten into them, the more complex they have become. And um, I think that's part of the genius of Bach is that he, he, he is an incredible teacher that there's kind of an endless well of knowledge in the music and imagination. So um, these are the uh, inventions 12, 13, and 14. <coughs> Thank you. 